Hey everybody, it's Stephanie and today I'm going to be answering all of your guys' questions. So let's get started! What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. If you could describe me in one word, what would it be? Friendly. If you had a chance to get on the Saks channels again, would you take it? No, because of my recent experience on the channels. Do you still watch 7 Epic Dancers even after you got kicked out? Yes, I still watch 7 Epic Dancers every now and then because I still love watching all of the girls on the channel and supporting them because they are all my friends. How important is 7 Epic Dancers to you? 7 Epic Dancers used to be really important to me, but it's no longer important to me because I'm not currently on the channels, but I do cherish the good times that I had on the channels, and I love seeing all of my old videos from the channels. How did you get interested to decide to talk to the sax directors to make a dancing collab channel? At the time, 7 Gymnastics Girls was one of the newer channels, and I loved how they used the sport gymnastics to make a channel, and I was like, well, I love to dance, so what if there was a dance channel? So that's kind of what inspired me, or why I wanted to make a dance channel, because there was 7 Gymnastics Girls, so why not 7 Dancing Girls? What are your favorite styles of dance? I have three favorite styles of dance, and my first one is contemporary, my second favorite is hip hop, and my third favorite is musical theater. How did you feel comfort-wise before you had your spine surgery? I was in a lot of pain before the surgery, which is one of the main reasons why I got the surgery. So my discomfort level was very high and I was in a lot of pain and it hurt to just do anything. Just sitting, walking, dancing, sleeping. It hurt to do basically everything. So the answer is very uncomfortable. Did you enjoy being on 7 Epic Dancers while it lasted? Yes, I did enjoy being on 7 Epic Dancers while it lasted both times that I was on the channel. It was a really good experience. If you could describe yourself in one word, what would it be? Probably a warrior because I feel like I persevere through everything that gets in my way from the little things to the big things and I just consider myself to be like a warrior throughout life. Like nothing's gonna get in my way and I'm always gonna stand tall no matter what happens and never ever give up. If you could meet anyone on the Sax Channels, who would you meet? Well, I've already met a few people on the Sax Channels in the past, but if it's somebody I've never met before, I would want to meet Ashlyn from 7 Perfect Angels because I think she's just so awesome. She's so friendly and sweet, and I love her story as well because she has cystic fibrosis, and just I love how positive she is and how friendly she is, so I think it would be really fun to meet her. What made you want to be on the Sax Channels? I've been on the Sax Channels twice, and the first time, when I was 13, I wanted to be on the sex channels because I loved being on collab channels and I wanted to make skit videos. And the second time when I joined 7 Epic Dancers, I wanted to join because I wanted to have a platform that I could use to show and share my passion of dance with the world. And I figured that a collab channel that had a viewership already would be a great place to be able to do that. So that's why I wanted to join the second time. Do you watch the show Dance Moms since you are a dancer? I do watch the show Dance Moms. I have not watched the most recent season, but I've seen all of the other seasons. I'm a huge Maddie and Mackenzie Ziegler fan, and I love all of the girls on the show, and I just love that show. Like, it's, it's a super drama-oriented show, but I love the dancing in the show, and I love the girls. Who was your first friend when you got into the Sax Channels? My first friend when I got into the Sax Channels was probably Kayla. What is your favorite Seven Fabulous Teens or Seven Epic Dancers memory? I have a really bad memory but probably all the Skype calls I've had through all of my time on the Sax channels. We used to have so many Skype calls with everybody and Skype sleepovers and gaming together, like playing Minecraft and just doing a lot of fun stuff together. So probably the friendships that I had during it. And I guess for the memory part of it, one of my favorite memories that I can think of right now is once we had a birthday party for Rowan, I think. And we all had a dance party on Skype and it was a lot of fun. What is your favorite color? Pink. What was your favorite theme on 7 Epic Dancers? My favorite theme on 7 Epic Dancers was You Know You're a Dancer When, which is also one of my most viewed videos on 7 Epic Dancers. And it was just a really fun theme because you can get really creative with it. How do you feel after being kicked out of 7 Epic Dancers? Well, directly after I was kicked out, I was extremely sad and mad. And now it's just kind of like... I'm upset that it happened, but I don't let it get me down anymore. It's over and done with. It is what it is. And I'm happy now that I'm able to use my filmmaking skills and dancing and knowledge of YouTube on my own channel to grow my personal channel that's just based solely on me. When is your birthday? My birthday is December 30th, 1996. How old are you? I am 20 years old, almost 20 and a half, and I still can't believe it. Who is your favorite girl on the Sax channels? I don't continue to watch all the Sax channels like daily. I just check on the channels every now and then and watch a couple videos. So I don't really have a favorite, but some people that I enjoy watching are Catherine and Rachel, Ashlyn, 
all the seven epic dancers girls and yeah I really enjoy watching all the girls if I do watch the sex channels because all of them are awesome so where do you live I live in Michigan in the United States of America how long have you been on Seven Fabulous Teens and Seven Epic Dancers? I was on Seven Fabulous Teens for almost two years, I believe, and I was on Seven Epic Dancers for like a year the first time and then just a few months the second time. Something like that. I said it in my Why I Got Kicked Off Seven Epic Dancers video, but I don't remember now. What is your favorite animal? My favorite like wild animal would be a bear because they're just so cute. And my favorite like pet animal changes all the time. I love dogs, cats rabbits and hamsters. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I do have a sibling. I have two siblings. I have two older brothers and their names are Josh and he is 27 and Taylor and he is 24. Where were you born? I was born in Plano, Texas. How long did it take you to learn the middle split? Let me let you in on a little secret. I don't think I have ever had my middle splits fully to the ground. So if you count how old I am now, I'm 20 and I started dancing when I was two so it's taken 18 plus years. But I have been really close, like inch, like an inch from the ground. But I really wanna get them all the way to the ground this summer, that is my goal, so we'll see what goes. When you are out in public, do you get recognized a lot? No, I do not. I am not popular enough to be recognized in public, at least not where I am at in public. But I have been recognized in public before a few years ago. I was recognized at like dance conventions and dance competitions from people who saw me on Some Fabulous Teens. Do splits ever stop hurting at all? No, I'm sorry, but as far as I'm aware, splits never stop hurting, but they do start to hurt less. Well, let's say that you have your right splits all the way down and you're super stretched out and you've had them for months. It will hurt less, but it'll still hurt because it's stretching. Other than dancing and filming, what else do you like to do in your free time? I like to do a lot of things. I love to sing, act, play the piano, guitar, all of those kind of things. But something that I do a lot right now because I'm going to school and stuff is I like to play a lot of video games and watch Netflix. But I also enjoy things like running and biking and Pokemon hunting and going shopping and I love to do a lot of things. I also love reading, drawing, coloring. I love to do a lot of things. It just depends on what I have time for or what I feel up to. What's your favorite style of dance between tap and hip hop and why? This was a very detailed question. So between tap and hip hop, my favorite is probably hip hop. And the reason why is because, I don't know, I just like hip hop better than tap. I love tap too. Tap is just a completely different dance style than all the other dance styles because you're wearing tap shoes and it's really cool. But I love hip hop because I love the different types of hip hop. And hip hop was actually my first dance I competed in when I was eight. So it's just, I really like it. And I like, like, you can have a really sassy hip hop, or you can have a really, like, tough hip hop, or you can have, like, ballet hip hop, and I just really like hip hop. I think it's a really unique dance style. Not that tap isn't, because tap is probably even more unique, but I've also tap danced less than I've done hip hop. What inspired you to start dancing, and what is your least favorite style of dance? So, I started dancing when I was two and a half because my mom put me into dance, so. I wasn't inspired to dance at the time, I was just kind of put into it, but I loved it. So something inspired me then, maybe seeing the other girls, or just the fact that I love dance, I don't know. I just only remember dancing. And my least favorite style of dance is point, and that's because I only did it a couple years, and point is hard. Point hurts, and it is hard, and for all of those beautiful point dancers, like, props to you, because I personally believe that is the absolute hardest style of dance right next to ballet because it is ballet but point which makes it even harder you take ballet which is already really hard and then you add it on point shoes and those of you who do point good for you you rock it can you give me some advice on getting over the fear and back handspring I used to be in gymnastics and I made it to level 4 the old level 4 which is now level 3 and you had to be able to do back handsprings to move on and I'm just gonna be honest I was never able to do it without like somebody helping me or without using the mat because I had a huge fear of back handsprings. So my advice to you is don't do what I did. Don't quit. I didn't really quit because of that. I quit gymnastics because I needed to focus on dance. I chose dance over gymnastics. But anyways, I've never overcome my fear of back handsprings, but if you want to do gymnastics or back handsprings or whatever you're doing, just as long as you're safe about it, go for it. Do it until you're comfortable. Tell yourself you can do it because if you know how, if you're ready for it, like you said, your teacher said you're ready for it, then you're ready for it. You can do it and now it's all about your mind. Your body knows how to do it, you gotta get your mind to do it. So just stay positive and you can do it. 
can you do any gymnastics? If so, what is your hardest skill? Like I just said, I was in gymnastics from levels, I don't know what level I joined in on, but I was up, I got to level four. I was in gymnastics for a few years when I was younger. And so currently, I'd say the hardest skill I can do would probably be a one-handed cartwheel or a round off or a handstand. Whatever ones of you, whatever ones of those that you think is the hardest is the one that I can do that's the hardest. I can also do a front flip on a trampoline. Do you work out? If so, can you show us a bit of your workout routine? Funny you ask, because next week my video, sneak peek if you're watching this video, here's your sneak peek to next week's video. I'm actually going to be doing a dance workout video next week along with some other workout, like core workouts and stuff. And this summer I plan to do a lot of dance workouts and also like running and biking. So stay tuned for that video and you'll see my workout routine then. Do you currently compete? I do not currently compete. I have not competed for a couple years because Unfortunately, I am too old to compete. I could compete in an adult division, but I can't compete on like a normal dance studio team. So yeah, I don't currently compete, but I sure wish I was competing right now. What are your plans for the future? That is a very broad question. And I guess for a broad question, I'll give it a broad answer. I just want to be doing what I want to be doing and be happy and loving life in the future. That's my broad answer for your broad question. Do you want a big or small family? A small family? Big families are really fun to watch on YouTube, but I do not think I could handle having 10 million kids as much as I love kids. Do you like The Next Step? I have no idea what that is, but I'm sure it's a TV show, so I'm not sure I'm gonna say I've never seen it. That's my answer. Why do you love to dance? This is a deep question. I love to dance because dancing makes me feel free. Not to be cliche, but it's literally like my air to breathe is dance. And it's always been a part of my life as long as I can remember. And I just love dancing. No matter how much pain I'm in, whether I have a headache or my back hurts, and when I'm dancing, I don't feel it. It's still there, but I don't feel it. Dancing is like my distraction from the world. It's like my own little world inside of this world. And I just love to dance. I also love that you can show so much through dance. Dance is just awesome. Like, it's so hard to explain, but I can feel it. It's just like, how do I put it into words? Basically, I love to dance because dance is my passion. It's like, it's what my heart wants to do. If I could just dance every day for the rest of my life, I would be extremely happy. Are you allowed to go to Saks Meet and Greets? I can't be in a Saks Meet and Greet because I'm not on the Saks channels, but yes, I could go to a Saks Meet and Greet. What is it like dancing with a metal rod in your back? When I'm dancing, I don't notice having a metal rod in my back. I noticed it more right after surgery because you could feel it a lot more, but I like sitting here. I don't feel a metal rod in my back because it just feels like my spine. It doesn't feel any different. But if I start doing like an arabesque, I can't bend my lower back right there. You can kind of feel it there, but you don't literally feel the metal rod. It's just a uh, kind of reminder that it's still there because you can't put your leg up any higher. What is it like? Pretty similar to dancing without a metal rod in your back, just there happens to be metal in your back. Are you still friends with SAX members? I am still friends with SAX members. I still keep in touch with a few of them and we're all friends on like Instagram and stuff. Why are all of your scoliosis videos private? Very good question. I'm shocked you caught that because I literally put them on private yesterday. I'm having some copyright issues with those videos with the music because the music I had put in them is not royalty free music because I had made these videos years ago. So I put them on private so that I can fix them and change the music to them and then I will um, unprivate them or I will re-upload them depending on the video. Good catch though, but they will be back, don't worry. What are your favorite TV shows? My favorite TV shows change all the time. I love watching Netflix, I love TV shows, but some of my favorite TV shows are Doctor Who, Full House, The Flash, The 4400, The 100, 13 Reasons Why, and a lot of other shows. There's, I love a lot of shows, but those are some that I can think of that I've like recently watched or are on the top of my head. What was your least favorite part of being on Seven Epic Dancers? My least favorite part of being on Seven Epic Dancers, besides having to leave and being kicked off, which was my least favorite part, but being on the channels was that you have to use royalty free music, which now I understand because having my own channel, I realize you have to use royalty free music, otherwise it's copyright. So I get that now, but that's still my least favorite part because I like to be able to dance to any song I want to, but with YouTube, you kind of have to change that up. So I understand it, but it was still my least favorite part. What grade are you in college? College has grades, but not really. It's not like you finish a year of college and you're this grade, but based on how many credits I have, I am technically a sophomore in college. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is one of those things that changes all the time. If I could pick one food, just like one food, would be a potato because you can have french fries, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, 
hash browns, like, the potato is amazing. But if it was my favorite snack food, it'd probably be like popcorn and chocolate and ice cream and cookies and all the great things. If there was only one food left on the planet, which would you choose? A potato. <laughs> Cause like I just said, you can make so many great things with potatoes. Like, if you just had a ton of potatoes, it's not like you would only eat potato because you could make so many awesome things. If you have to learn one instrument, what would it be? Well, I already know how to play piano, guitar, and ukulele, but if I had to pick an instrument I've never learned, I would probably want to learn, like, the drums. If I could pick one that I already know and could pick that I knew it better, I would probably pick to be really good at guitar because I'm not super good at guitar and I would like to be. Who are your favorite singers? I love Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift, Madeline Bailey, and then my favorite like band of singers would be the Chainsmokers. If you have seen Beauty and the Beast, who's your favorite character? Choose either Beauty and the Beast and then another character. I have not seen Beauty and the Beast, but I know the story of Beauty and the Beast. So my favorite character between Beauty and the Beast would be Beauty because I love Belle. And my favorite other character, I'm not sure, I'll have to see the movie, like the new movie, but yeah, Beauty would be my favorite out of Beauty and the Beast. What kind of phone do you have? Well, it's right here. I have the Google Pixel XL and I love it. I just got it like a month ago, two months ago. What month is it? A couple months ago. And it is an awesome phone. I love it so much. Have you ever done acting? Yes, I have. I haven't done a ton of acting, but when I was younger, every summer I used to go to acting camp at a theater here. And then after I was done going to the camps, I would be a theater assistant. I would help teach the other kids in the camps acting. So have done acting. It's a lot of fun. I really love to act. I was also in a theater class in middle school. What's your favorite subject? My favorite subject would be language arts slash English. And my second favorite subject is math. What is your favorite sax channel besides Seven Epic Dancers and Seven Fabulous Teens? Probably Seven Gymnastics Girls because I love watching gymnastics. I think it's so amazing and I wish I could do all of that. So Seven Gymnastics Girls. Why are people who got kicked off the sax channels not allowed to make a goodbye video? That is a very good question and I don't have a real answer. But what I think is the reason is because Basically, if somebody gets kicked off, they probably did something wrong. So I guess they just don't want you on the channel any longer even to make a goodbye video because whatever you did was bad enough that you're not allowed. That's my answer. I don't know the real answer though. Are you still a college student or are you done with college? I'm still a college student. I still have a long ways to go, a few years at least, and I would like to go even longer than that so I can get my master's hopefully someday. So I'll be in college for a while. What do you miss about the Sax channel? I miss the community. I love all the fans of the Sax channels. They're all super sweet in the comments. And I love that a lot of you have come here to watch my videos on my channel because you guys are awesome. That's what makes the Sax channel so great is the fans of the Sax channels. So that's probably what I miss. I also miss having the friendship with the girls on the channel because there's just something special about being on a channel all together. You have a really special friendship. If you didn't do dance, what other sport would you want to do? If I didn't do dance and I didn't have rods on my back, I would totally love to be a gymnast. But if I had to still have rods on my back, like if it wasn't a perfect world, then I would want to do like figure skating or swimming or rhythmic gymnastics. Why don't you add videos of you with your family? My channel is mostly based on my talents of singing and dancing and stuff. That's what it's always been based off of. So that's why they're not really in the videos. If anything, they're the ones filming the video. I do have a video up with my brother playing the guitar and me singing from like seven years ago. But that's why they're not in the videos. They're normally the ones filming the videos or they're like at the event. But in the future, I'll probably have more videos with my family on my channel. Do you like SpongeBob? Of course I like SpongeBob. Doesn't everybody? What size shoe are you? I wear a size six shoe or a six and a half. What level am I? There's no levels in dance unless your studio does levels. So it's more of if you're a beginner, intermediate or advanced. So I would consider myself an advanced dancer. Can you do fuete turns? I can do fuete turns. Turning is not my specialty. So they're not the absolute perfect thing in the world, but I can do them and I do practice them. All right, that's a wrap. That was a lot of questions, but that was awesome. Thank you guys so much for all of your questions. I will do a part two to this video in a few weeks or possibly like a month or so. So if you have any questions that I didn't answer in today's videos, maybe some of these questions and answers sparked another question, go ahead and comment it down below because in a few weeks I'll do a part two answering even more questions that you guys asked. I love answering your guys' questions because I love sharing my insight on your guys' questions. 
So thank you so much to everybody who participated in asking questions, and I hope you enjoyed all of the answers. I also want to thank all of my new subscribers. My subscribers have been flying in, and I am so excited and thankful for all of you who are subscribing. My past subscribers, my new subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to me down below if you want to keep seeing new content from me. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Again, remember to comment down below if you have any more questions or if you just want to give me a comment and say hey. And I will see all of you guys in next week's video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to never ever give up and I will see you all next week.